Hi everyone, Imran here with another video on how to fix iPad is disabled. I have iPad Mini 4, so I will, the customer has forgotten the passcode, so I will show you how to fix this using iTunes. When you connect your iPad to PC, you should get a message like this. So let's get started. Producing these videos takes a lot of time and effort, so please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Now first of all go to ipsw.me and note your iPad model number it is written on the back of your device A1550 and identify my device. Now it will find the right firmware for your device. As you can see you need to download the latest version 15.7. If you have IDM installed, then right click and download with IDM, otherwise click on download and it will download the file for your device. Now I have already downloaded the Premiere file, so I will move back to PC and connect my iPad in recovery mode. connect your iPad into recovery mode you need to connect your iPad to PC first using USB cable and hit the or press the power button now press the power button Slide to power up. Now, as soon as the screen turns black, you need to keep holding the home button. As you can see, I am holding the home button until my iPad is booted into recovery mode. Keep holding, it takes a few seconds now. iPad is connected in recovery mode. Now as you can see iTunes has detected your iPad in recovery mode. Now hold the shift key on your keyboard and click on the restore iPad button as you can see. Now double click to select the downloaded firmware and click on restore. Now it will restore your iPad as you can see preparing your iPad for restore. When done, your iPad will reboot and the flashing process will start. It can take around 10 to 15 minutes, so you need to have some patience while iTunes flashes the firmware. Now, at this point, we are almost 95% done, so it, in, it will just flash the firmware and your iPad will reboot once completed. and like normal setup you select your country language and connect to a wi-fi network and to check if it is logged with a cloud account or not for that you have to log in with the iCloud credential otherwise you can normally set up your ipad just like you normally would do Thank you for watching, if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.